to pulverize. Amen? We want to pulverize the enemy. So we want to pray, praise, petition, be persistent, pursuit, penetrate, and pulverize. Glory to God. And you call out fire upon the powers of darkness. You know, one day Kate and I were driving by this house of ill repute. And it was a bar that people hung out. And uh, we knew it was a perverse bar. Of course, most of them, all of them are. But anyways, every time we'd go by there, there was just a, something in my spirit. And so we'd call fire down upon that place. And we say, Lord, rescue the souls there. Rescue the souls there. It was, a, it was a gay bar, and we just said, you know, rescue the souls there. Well, one day, Kate and I were driving by, my wife and I were driving by, and next thing we know, there was nothing but the place was burnt to, was pulverized. I mean, it was gone. It was like her and I just looked at each other and went, whoa. Of course, I started calling fire down on everything I didn't like then. <laughs> Lord, how about that one? Come on, yeah. Praise God. Revelation 2.18. <laughs> and to the angel of the church in Thyatira write, These things says the Son of God who has eyes like flame and fire, his feet like fine brass. I know your works, love, service, faith. Your patience, as for your works, the last are more than the first. Nevertheless, I have, I have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. Indeed, I will cast her into a sick bed, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation unless they repent of their deeds. Now, we know that in these end times, that spirit of Jezebel is stronger and stronger and stronger. Why? Because we are close. The next event is tribulation and then great tribulation. So he's saying right here, he says, I'm going to cast her into what? Great tribulation. I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and the hearts. And I will give to each one of you according to your works. Now to you I say and to the rest in Thyatira, as many as do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depths of Satan, as they say, I will put on you no other burden. In other words, we are to know the depths of Satan. But hold fast what you have until I come. And he overcomes and keeps my works until the end. To him I will give power over the nations. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. They shall be dashed, pulverized to pieces like the potter's vessel. As I also have received from my father, and I give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches or to the body of Christ. Does everybody hear that? Amen. So it's our responsibility to remove the presence of evil. Amen. Prayer, praise, petition, persistence, pursuit, penetrate, and pulverize. The seven P's of perfection. Go kick some butt, will you? Amen. Father, we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We thank you. We thank you. Father, I pray boldness in each and every one here tonight. I pray boldness to stand strong, to be steadfast, to maintain a pure heart, to maintain a humble spirit. That clarity will come, Lord. Lord, that they will seek you before they do anything. That they will remove the cursed stuff, the things of touching uncleanliness. Lord, I pray for each and every one here tonight that your perfect will be manifested in them, through them, that you'll baptize them afresh in the Holy Spirit and in fire. 
that you will visit them in a mighty way in dreams and visions, revelations, confirmations, and manifestations, and that they will carry the anointing and the presence and the truth, and that all heaven will back them according to your will in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. amen. Hallelujah. Be blessed.